Hello, welcome back to Tiller Bees. This is a short clip of how I make um, telescoping tops for my hives. Uh, this first one, of course, uh, you might call it a prototype, I call it an experiment, but um, it does fit the hive that I made it for. It's made out of cheap, everyday uh, products you can find at any uh, lumber store. Except for the aluminum, that might be a little more difficult, but I know you can order it at most places. But I find mine on places like Facebook and Craigslist. Uh, a lot of uh, contractors overestimate what they need and they sell the excess on the cheap. Uh, this roll will only cost me about half of what uh, a normal roll would sell for, which is probably around 90 to to $100. I got the, the 25 foot roll for 35 bucks, so pretty good deal. Uh, the rest of the scrap material. So, um, hope you enjoy it. Um, subscribe, like, and um, ring that bell if you feel like it. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you on the next installation as soon as possible. All right, here we have a homemade top for my eight frame hive. As you can see, it's really basic. I made it out of fern strips and a piece of 5 8 plywood. The intention is to cover it with aluminum. I know the evening sun's kind of a pain shooting in here, but it is what it is. But as you can see, nothing fancy. It's, um, I did buy the fern strip, but literally all the things that I've made, um, the swarm traps, the five frame nuke, all of those have been from leftovers from where they built my house uh, a year or two ago. Yeah. And if you're interested in what I'm using, this is the Rendex Smooth Finish Bar Resistant Trim Coil. 25 inches wide, which is slightly more than the length of my top. And of course I can cut the width to whatever I need. So you see the before. I'll try to get some in-between photos, but then we'll, uh, we'll get to the finished product. Alright, this is a poor man's break. A nice, rigid piece of oak. I'm not sure if we can see that real well. I don't have a lot, the best of light in here. We've got clamp here, clamp there, and it's holding that piece of oak in place. And then we just take a nice dead weight hammer and pound the sides of it up. And as you can see, I've already got that side over there done. Once we get the two ends bent, we'll put that on the top and we'll be finished. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Well, here we have all four sides folded in. I'm doing the, uh, the front and the back first. Just ordinary staples using a power stapler, of course. But you could do this with a hand stapler as well. Pretty sure you shouldn't have any issues getting through the aluminum. And we're going to fold the corners over and do the sides here and we'll show you the end results. And here we have the finished top. Pick it up a little bit. Might not win any beauty awards, but my fear is that these staples that I'm using are going to rust. Of course, aluminum is not going to rust. So I hope it doesn't streak too bad. I may throw a little layer of paint on those staples just for safe. And you can see it just did a little simple lap on edges. Might throw a little paint on these ends that didn't get covered, but that's the limitations of the uh, stock I'm working with. Hopefully the next one will turn out a little better than this one. But get a nice sun reflective top. Of course I'll probably mar it up with a brick or a block to hold it on, but they look pretty good when they're new. And hopefully I'll have a little more to follow up on this.